Animal Corporate Office this morning. Police arrested over 100 P9 members and supporters, part of a larger group who were staging a protest in front of the corporate office main gate. The demonstrators were demanding a face-to-face -face negotiating session between the union leadership and the Hormel company. Tom Hauser was on the scene this morning and has this report. Locks found on the gates of the Hormel corporate office were the first indication there would be trouble. The locks were placed there early in the morning by P9 supporters who eventually succeeded in closing the corporate office. The demonstration was peaceful at first, but turned ugly when protesters surrounded police as they began making arrests. We want a contract! 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 We want a contract. And we aren't there to hurt people, and we certainly don't want anyone hurt, but just in the fact of people pulling bodies apart, I'm afraid someone's going to get hurt. This is the least dangerous way we can handle it. That's the way I want to handle it. If it doesn't work, then we'll have to go to more severe activity. Austin Police Chief Don Hoffman said if necessary, every one of the people blocking the corporate office gate would be arrested. And by early afternoon, that task was being completed. In all, 111 protesters were arrested, including one man who was later hospitalized after complaining about chest pains. Sheriff's deputies from Fillmore and Olmstead counties were called in to assist Moore County and the Austin Police Department. We did not have control of the entrance, but we did not lose control of peacekeeping in the community. By late this afternoon, about half of the 111 people arrested were being held in the Moore County Jail. The rest have been transferred to other jails in the area, and all of those arrested will be held until charges are filed tomorrow. Tom Hauser, KAAL News Center 6, Austin. The hospitalized man was identified as Ivan Bartholomew of Austin. A spokesperson for St. Olaf Hospital says the 52-year-old Bartholomew is in stable condition tonight. Well, this evening, a group of young people held a demonstration of their own in support of their parents and others who were placed under arrest today. We, we walked around, uh, we walked around uh, here a couple of times around the law enforcement center and uh, show our support for our parents. We thought what they did today was right. They should have done it sooner, but they did it anyhow. I'm very proud of my dad. The group, which calls itself P9's future generation, numbered about 50. The young people marched from Austin's union headquarters to the courthouse. Reaction to the day's developments was quick in coming, not only from company officials, but from the P9 leadership as well. Union President Jim Guyette says the morning demonstration was not planned by local nine leaders. This was organized by people who support P9 and who came in and wanted to do something to show their support for P9 and the injustices that uh, the Hormel Company stands for against the workers here. Ray Rogers says the demonstration was in the best tradition of peaceful protest. Union leaders and workers all across the country can learn a great deal from the teachings and practices of Gandhi and people like Martin Luther King. And we think that uh, what happened out there this morning was probably influenced by those teachings and practices. Rogers called on unions around the country to stage similar demonstrations in support of Local 9. As expected, a Hormel Company spokesman saw the protest in different terms. What really happened here this morning was their need for more media coverage again. There has been a very kind of uh, newsworthy, we've been kind of silent for a couple of weeks. We've been pushed off the front page by whatever, the face, space shuttle, the Minnesota basketball team, whatever it is, and, and it seemed they have this crying need to be on the front pages and, and, uh, uh, and, and create uh, situations to be honest. Larson says it is costly and inconvenient for the company to have the corporate offices shut down. He says corporate employees have a right to go to work. Transworld Airlines and its flight attendants union have agreed to return to the bargaining table. Both sides.